photography and videography of this production is not permitted, as it can be a distraction to your fellow audience members. This play will be live streamed and available on our YouTube channel at Greater Grace Church. Lastly, please silence all mobile devices and enjoy the show. My name is Tom Schaller. I'm the pastor here at Greater Grace. We want to welcome you tonight. We hope that you relax and enjoy the message of our play this year. We're so thankful for the people that come and hear the message of God's love. It's so important in the days we are living that we would understand that God is personal, that God cares about you and your family and your friends, and that the message of Christ is for everyone. Christ was raised from the dead. He is the answer for our lives. Grow in him, learn of him, and know him. He will give you peace. He will establish you on a rock. He will encourage you and teach you. Uh, you're at the play tonight. Thank you for coming. And then come again and come and make this church your home. You are so welcome. God is with us. God cares about you and grow in him. Learn your Bible. Learn about faith, learn to pray, have new friends, walk by faith in God. God cares about you. In Jesus' name, amen.
across. of God, come down from the cross. He saved others, but he cannot save himself. If you are the Christ, the King of Israel, come down from the cross, and we, we will believe you. <laughs> you trusted in God, so let God deliver you now, if he will have you. He called himself the Chosen One. <laughs> he called himself the Son of God. <laughs> <laughs> The Christ. <laughs> Save us. Have you no fear of God? Aren't you being crucified too? Ah, we deserve to die for what we have done. But this man has done nothing wrong. Lord. Ah, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Ah. <laughs> This is very important. I promise you, today, you will be received. Woman, behold your son. Behold. God, my 
God! <laughs> Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> oh. I thirst. Go. Oh God of truth, it is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Truly, this was the Son of God.
Seriously? Woman, please. What is going on? Lady, come on. Let's not say too much. Any word could tip off someone about where we're from. Joseph, what should we do now? Rabbi's dead. And Pilate will surely be sending his men to get us. And Rome doesn't like movements. Yeah. That's why they killed him. Pax Romana, my eye. I know. I know. They keep the peace by shedding blood. The blood you're of people right, are like you're us. Right. Calm down. You're right. I mean, Jerusalem's not a good place to stay. I mean, Passover's here, so we couldn't move among the crowds. We, we just need to keep our heads down and our mouths shut. Not a word, okay? If we stay quiet, no one will know we were with. If we time it right, we could slip out of one of those gates and reach Emmaus by evening. Now that's a plan. Sun's up's the best time to go, right? When everyone's getting ready on the first day. Surely no one will notice us then, right? Not if we don't stay quiet. Like I said we should. Joanna! Mary, how have you been? I think I'm still in shock. Tomorrow will make it three days since he was placed in the tomb. I know. I can hardly believe it either. Mary and I thought that someone should bring things to care for his body. He never did a thing to deserve that death. At least we could honor his body with a proper burial. Mary! It's not safe. You must still be in shock if you can't see what's going on in the city. It's best not to draw attention to yourself right now. We have to do something. We'll go tomorrow at dawn, before the city wakes. We've already gotten everything we need from the market. Will you join us? You truly are a devoted friend. Yes, we can do this one last thing for him, but we must go at first light. Sky. 
Holding the scorn Sacred hand Pierced by a thorn It is finished Was his cry The perfect man Was crucified His sacrifice Our victory Our Savior chose the mercy tree. Hope went down that violent day. The whole earth quaked at last his way. Three days silent in the ground. His body born for heaven's crown. Heaven's crown, heaven's crown, heaven's crown. On that long, wide and glorious day, the heavens opened up the grave. us together could not budge it. Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. He's alive. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day rise again? 
he's alive. We have to tell everyone. You good to go? Yeah. All right, come on. And no. Just see that. I hear you. I sense that something new is happening. Yeah. Uh, who is it? Peter! It's Mary! Oh. Open up! Oh, Let us in! Just... Rabbi is alive! What? You're delirious. No, it's true. An angel told us. He told us to tell everybody. I'm going to the tomb. Hey, not without me, you're not. Joseph. Joseph. Come here. I need to hear that. I need to talk. You're crazy. Yeah. You hear that? We can't stay here, Joseph. You're right. My head hurts just from thinking about all this. Did you hear what that woman said? So If the rabbi's body is truly gone, then there'll be hell to pay from Rome. Yeah. There were centurions guarding the tomb, you know. The centurions will be extremely dangerous then. We have to stay clear. Let's get going quietly now. Quietly? Oh, you don't have to worry about me. You won't hear a peep out of me. I promise you. Be quiet. I'll be so quiet all the time. You're the one yabbing for being completely honest. I'm the quiet one. Shh. I'm um, seriously all the sing all the time just yapping and yapping yap I, I I'll be like I'll be like a mouse. Oh my god. Like like a turtle. Joseph. I'll, I'll be like a <laughs> Let's go. It would hurt. said he's not here he is risen Woman, why are you crying? They've taken my Lord away, and I don't know where they've put him. Woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Please, sir, if you have carried him away, just tell me where you've put him, and I will go and get him. Mary. Rabbi. Rabbi! No, do not hold me yet. I have not yet ascended to my father, but instead go to my brothers and tell them that I do ascend to my Father, and to your Father, to my God, and to your God.
I try to put you in the box that I've designed I try to pull you down so we are eye to eye When did I forget that you've always been the king of the world? I try to take life back right out of the hands of the king of the world How could I make you so small? When you're the one who holds it all When did I forget that you've always been the king of the world? Just a whisper of your voice contained the sea So who am I to try and take the lead? Still I run ahead and think I'm strong How are we supposed to get past these I don't two? No. <laughs> they lost Jesus of Nazareth. A dead man got away. Some centurions they are. But what would happen to the guards? It was a blown assignment, right? They're sure to get sent to the north with the ice and the wind. Damn right it was a blown order. Sealed tomb? Dead body? Should have been an easy night. Maybe it was too easy. And now all those Jews with their superstitions and stuff about coming back to life and such, Jesus is gone. Who knows what kind of riot this will cause. A week ago, he was king of the Jews. Three days ago, they had him killed. But what if it's true? What if what's true? You know, coming back to life again. What if it can really happen? Are you a Jew? <laughs> Look, grave robbing's a good business. 
Jesus went into a rich man's tomb. Some people get buried with their gold. He was stolen. That's what I say. And someday soon we'll just find his body rotting somewhere. But what about that crucifixion? Yeah, what about it? Those happen all the time. Right. But not like that they don't. I saw the sky with my own eyes. It was as black as night. And the earthquake, I felt it under my feet. And I've never seen lightning like that before. And those Pharisees, they're over there complaining about some veil in their temple that had been torn. So? Who cares about a piece of cloth? It wasn't just any cloth. And it ripped from top down at the very moment that he died. And some say the centurion that was there, well, you know. Well, what? Did you hear that noise? Maybe it was Jesus. Let's go check it out. Let's go. While we can. Come on. Joseph, what? What? Slow down. Why? We can't run all the way from Jerusalem to Emmaus. The sooner we put that place behind us, the better. Let's go. We've been on the road since dawn. It's almost nightfall. So? Can we rest? Joseph, what do you not understand? The further we are from Jerusalem, the less likely... We are to be recognized. Well, anyone's going to recognize us the way you trot like a horse. Trot like a horse. <laughs> Ugh. Really? I'm tired. <sighs> I'm hungry. Aren't we all? I need to rest. Joseph, you're always hungry. It would take a miracle for you not to be hungry. Well, in fact, it did. It took a miracle. For the last time, the rabbi did not multiply the fish and the loaves just for you. No, maybe not. But I was hungry. So were 5,000 people. Exactly. 5,000 people were hungry, and yet I, I was full. I just don't understand. We've been walking all day. Of course you're going to be hungry. No, not that. Oh, oh, I get it. You don't understand that if we are seen by any Roman guards and they find out that we're following Jesus of Nazareth, that will most likely be killed. It wasn't supposed to be like this, Cleopas. He was to be our Messiah. Supposed to deliver us from our oppressors in Rome. Now he's gone and we're more oppressed than ever. Come on, did you not hear Pilate? He's rounding up anyone he even suspects as a follower. Exactly. Roman guards. Fear. Do not remember just one week before Passover? I mean, we welcomed him as our king, our deliverer. Now he's gone and we run in fear of unrest. Rabbi, Rabbi, this display, 
It is uncalled for. Rebuke your disciples. I tell you that if they keep silent, the very stones will cry out. Change so drastically, so quickly. It was the same people that said, Hosanna, Hosanna, as he entered. They were the same ones that said, Crucify him in front of Pilate. You're right. It all started when the rabbi was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. I've never experienced a night like that in my life. Me either. It was as if the trees and and rocks were against him. Stay here. I need to pray. Peter, John, you come with me. Ah, what is this? My soul. The weight is stifling. Oh, how am I to carry this? Wait here. Pray with me. Watch and pray, please. be lifted up, but I need your help, please, I cannot do this on my own, I cannot do this alone, Father, please give me strength, ah, give me your strength, Wake up! Uh, uh, could you not stay awake for one hour? Please, your spirit is willing. Do not give in to your flesh. Watch with me. Pray. Please. Please. from me, but not my will, your will must be done, the work must be finished, ah, Father come to my aid, please,
Oh, yes, Father. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, all right. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. Up. Wake up. That's enough sleep. Get up. The dark hour is here. Up. Up. Get up. Master, Judas, is this how you betray me? With a kiss? Who are you looking for? The Nazarene, the one called Jesus. I am. Who are you looking for? We're looking for Jesus of Nazareth. Where is he? I told you I am he, and you have me now. You have no use for these others. Let them go free. Drop your sword! This fight is not for now. Legions of angels stand by, but this is not their hour. The scriptures must be fulfilled. It must go this way. This cup is from my father. Shall I not drink it? No, I will take this cup. This will must be done. My ear! What is all of this? Swords, torches, clubs. I was in the temple every day. Why did you not take me then? Except now is your hour. This is your time of power. All that is written in scriptures, all the words of the prophets must be fulfilled. And they will be fulfilled. Right to the letter. Do what you were sent to do. I am in your hands. He was going to pray. And we were going to meet him. Yeah. But I couldn't stay awake. I couldn't be there for him when he needed me the most. And then I fled like a coward. At least Peter, Peter, he had enough courage to stay and fight for him. We all slept. We all ran. He didn't want us to fight. He said so himself. Did you see the guards fall as he spoke? I mean, why didn't he resist? He just let it happen. Well, you saw Yes, I saw, and I still don't understand. I've been remembering all day, all day. I still can't understand how these events came to be. Come on, come on. We've lingered too long. Jesus, he was supposed to change everything. The healings, the feedings, the miracles. He raised three people from the dead and he just... And he couldn't save himself. Maybe he wouldn't. Maybe there's more to it all. Uh, hello? <laughs> oh, easy, friends, easy, easy. Easy, fear not, fear not. I, I'm sorry, I just... I overheard you speaking and... You both sound like you've lost your best friend. What is wrong? What is with all these sad words? What's wrong? Are you not a Jew? I am. You certainly look enough to be a Jew. Yeah, where have you been? Are you a stranger to Judea? Seriously, you haven't heard about the killing of Jesus? 
the rabbi of Nazareth? Hmm. He is. Well, he was. The glorious one. He did marvelous things. And we all thought that he was the anointed one. Mm. The Messiah. Mm, 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 mm. He performed miracles. This one time, he turned five loaves and two fish and fed 5,000 people. And I was full. Wow. <laughs> that is a miracle. Wow. Everybody was full. Exactly. Anyways, the temple leaders, they had him handed over to Pilate. And he was crucified by the Romans. Mm. But he's gone now. Well, that is his body, of course. Some women went to his tomb, and well, they said they saw an angel. So. Ah. Yeah. Mm. And the angel said to them, Jesus is alive. But we didn't know what to believe, so we got out of Jerusalem. Mm. But you can believe that they'll be after anyone, even associated with him. That's right. Yeah. So we fled to Emmaus mm. till things settled down. Yeah. Wow. Messiah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, what do you know of him from scriptures? I mean, what do you believe about him? I mean, listen, guys. Did not Moses say that a prophet would come from among Israel and that when this prophet came, he was to be heard? Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. And blessed are those who hunger for righteousness for they will be filled. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. And blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. And blessed are those who suffer for righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely accuse you of all kinds of evil because of me. But rejoice and be glad, for I promise you great is your reward in heaven. For so too did they persecute the prophets who came before you. David, what did he say of the Messiah? Did not he speak of the zeal that, Messi the, that the Messiah would have for his own house? And the prophets, they said that he would come, he would set the captives and the prisoners free, that he would heal the sick, and he would make the blind to see. It is written, my house is to be a house of prayer. You have made it a den of thieves.
place and it's very late. Send these people away so they can get themselves something to eat. No, no, do not send them away. Feed them. But Lord, we only have five loaves and two fish. Bring them to me. Thank you. No, this was different. I felt virtue come out of me. Who touched me? I, I touched you, Lord. All these years I have struggled with an issue of blood. No doctor could help. But I knew that if I could just touch you, even the hem of your garment, I would be well. Daughter, it is your faith that has made you well. Thank you. Go in peace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Isaiah spoke of the suffering of the lamb, did he not? He said, like a lamb, he is led to slaughter, that he is bruised, and he is crushed, and he is pierced. Messiah, his afflictions were for the sins of all, and this was his to bear alone. Listen, my friends, I hope these words have helped you. 
I must be going, but I wish you a good day and safe travels, all right? Oh, thank you. <clears throat> wow. What a guy. Oh. <clears throat> mm. Wait, wait. Your words. Could you tell us more? Please, take dinner with us. No, I'm You mean sorry. to tell I... me you've had dinner there the entire time? I've been... I've been starving! <laughs> listen, listen. I really must be going. I'm sorry, but... I want you two to really think about what I said, okay? Dude, come on, I've been hungry, come on! My stomach is growling! Stop! Come, come join us. We, we want to hear more. Eat with us. Okay, yes, of course. Yes. Jenner, yes. Quick <clears throat> bite. What we got in here? We have a guest! <laughs> I said last time I could eat first. Joseph, get over here. Father, we thank you for this food and for these men. Help their unbelief. Not your heart burn within you as he spoke? We have to go back to Jerusalem and tell everyone. Come, come. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Come on, we gotta tell the others. Wait, that was Jesus. I, I know. Isn't it amazing? Come on. No, Joseph, that was Jesus who walked with us and he talked with us. I understand that. No. Cleopas. Joseph, no. Cleopas. Joseph. Cleopas. Joseph, think about it. Jesus. He appears to us. And all we do is tell him how we don't believe in him. I didn't even think of that. I think I'm going to be sick. After all he's done for me, I... I didn't even want to share my bread with him. I'm so embarrassed. How could we speak to him like that? How could we treat him like that? Why didn't he reveal himself to us right away? And we knew him long before today. We, we saw his life and his death. But he wasn't concerned with what we saw. He asked us what we believed about him. What we knew of him from scriptures. Cle Cleopas, that's it. What we believed. He knew we didn't believe yet. He met us in our place of unbelief. We were walking by sight. Yeah. But Jesus, he showed us how to walk by faith. Yes. Come on, we got to tell the others. Maybe this will help with their disbelief uh, as well. Maybe. <laughs> Wait, stop. Cleopas, come here. Right here. What? If we couldn't run all the way from Jerusalem to Emmaus, or if I couldn't run from Jerusalem to Emmaus, what makes you think I can run from Emmaus to Jerusalem, huh? Joseph, huh? for once, just once in your life, maybe you should try running by your faith instead of walking by it. to me, Mary, and the others, they were right. That was, that was, that was, Get him something to drink. Jesus, who walked with us, and he spoke with us. And, and after he broke the bread, he just vanished from us. Peace be unto you. <gasps> it is me. Touch me. I am flesh and bone. I am no ghost. Give me something to eat. There, do you believe me now? I told you. Yes, I died. 
I had to say that repentance and forgiveness of sin should be proclaimed. But now I am alive forevermore. Do some of you still doubt it? I know that those closest to me could not always see me. But believe in me now and have life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. None comes to me but through the Father. You are my witnesses. Tell the world of me. Tell them of my salvation. Tell them that they can receive my mercy and be saved. Tell them that I love them.
That's the conclusion of our performance tonight. Didn't they do an outstanding job? Beautifully portrayed. And as you witness that play tonight, you realize that's the gospel story. And Jesus is alive, isn't he? Raised again from the dead. You're here on Good Friday watching this performance tonight. Imagine that. And the opening scene of the performance tonight was the crucifixion. Calvary's Hill reminds us of something very important. It reminds us of choice. For there was Christ crucified between those two thieves. One thief believed that Christ deserved the punishment that he was receiving. He did not believe. That was his choice. The other thief believed on Jesus what was the one thing that Jesus perhaps said that touched his heart perhaps it was the words that Jesus uttered on the cross when he said father forgive them for they know not what they do one thief made his choice and did not trust Christ the other made his choice and trusted him believing on Jesus is your choice and God gives us that gift the gift of choice and on that Friday when he was crucified we need to remember that it was for our sins that he was being punished for he knew no sin the Bible makes that very clear it tells us as Paul wrote to the Corinthians he says for God has made him to be sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God. Before Christ was crucified, he stood before the, the Roman government, Governor Pontius Pilate, and after interrogating him repeatedly because of all of the charges that the Jewish people brought against Christ, Pilate basically said, I find no fault in him. But they had a custom, and the custom was Pilate would deliver someone unto the people he could deliver Jesus which he had hoped to do because he found no guilt and no fault in Jesus but the crowd said no give us Barabbas who was guilty of treason murder he was scheduled to be executed that day and the crowd cried out and said no give us Barabbas crucify Christ I can't imagine what it must have been like when the soldiers went to the cell of Barabbas and said, come, and he anticipates he's going to lose his life, and they said, you can go free. No doubt Barabbas asked, had to ask the question, why, how? Jesus has taken your place. Barabbas goes free. Jesus is executed. I'm Barabbas. We're Barabbas. Guilty of our sins. And the Bible says that the soul that sins, it must surely die. But God is not willing that any should perish, which is why he gave us his son and sent him into our world. Jesus did not come to be a shining moral example for us to follow. And nobody's going to get to heaven if they simply do what Jesus did. 
You go to heaven when you trust Christ as your Savior, when you believe upon Him, when you make that choice. As we close the performance tonight, as we have in the previous performances, we're going to give you, our audience, the opportunity. I know many of you here already have trusted Christ as your Savior. You made that choice. Some have not. And tonight may be your night. You're not here by accident. Perhaps you're here tonight because God wanted to speak to your heart and reveal just how much He loves you. Remember, we were the guilty ones that should be punished for our sins. But when you trust Christ, judgment is passed for you. You will never stand before God in judgment. Never. Jesus said these words, He that hears my words and believes on Him who sent me shall never come into judgment, but is already passed from death unto new life. I'm going to ask the audience tonight to bow your heads and close your eyes, to give those that are here tonight an opportunity to trust Christ, to make that choice. It's the most important decision you will ever make in life. It determines your eternal destiny. A prayer of faith can invite Jesus into your heart. And you can say, Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. And I know that life without Christ is a hopeless end. But life with Christ is an endless hope. Jesus, come into my heart. Cleanse me of my sins. Save me tonight. I believe on you. I accept you by faith. Save me by your grace. You said that prayer tonight. I want to ask that you would just raise your hand. Put your hand up in the air. Thank you. I see the hands going up. Just raise your hand. Keep them up. Keep your hands up if you're making that decision. It takes courage to make that decision. Make no mistake about it. But when you make that decision, you will never regret it. I made that decision 50 years ago, and it was the greatest decision of my life. Sometimes my wife says, what about me? You're the second greatest decision of my life. With your hands up, I'm going to ask you to do something. I'm going to ask you to stand up, come out into the aisles. We have personal workers here tonight. They're going to meet you. They're going to take you over to my right, into the hallway. They're going to give you a Bible. They're going to give you some literature that you can take with you. It's a gift that we have for you tonight because you're making this all-important decision to trust Christ. We want to celebrate it with you. Go ahead, come up. Those of you that have made that decision tonight, you, you made your choice, and it's for Christ. Thank you. Stand up. Come right out of your seats. Go right out to the right with the personal workers. If you're with friends or family members, they'll wait for you. If you're a child and you want to make that decision, go ahead. If you're a teenager, make that decision. If you're a young adult, if you're an older person, make that decision. Perhaps God is speaking to your heart tonight to make that choice. Look at the folks that are making these decisions tonight to come forward and accept Christ. That is the most important decision you'll ever make. Say yes to Christ. Thank you. Anyone else? Is there one more tonight that wants to make that decision to trust Christ? Don't let fear get in the way. Because everyone here will only rejoice with that decision that you've made. We want to thank you all again for coming out tonight. And as you saw at the outset of the performance tonight, oh, there we go. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, give them a big hand. Praise God. We want to invite you, if you don't have a local church that you attend, to come to our services Sunday morning, Easter Sunday. Here come some more folks. Praise God. Oh, we'll wait. Amen. God bless you. We're right over to the right. The personal workers, they've got Bibles for you.
Oprah gives people new cars. We give them Bibles. New cars get old and go to the junkyard. The Bible, the Word of God lives and abides forever. Amen? We're giving him something that will last for eternity. Praise God. So again, we want to invite you to our service this Sunday morning at 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 6.30 Sunday evening. Come on out and celebrate. You've been here tonight celebrating Good Friday. It seems strange that we call it Good Friday because of what occurred on that day. And we know why it occurred. The Bible says that darkness covered the land for three hours while Christ hung on that cross. That was prophesied in the Old Testament book of Amos. Someone said to me once, they said, why did darkness cover the land? It's because they crucified the light of the world. But the darkness that people find in their hearts, there is only one answer for that, to receive and to believe on the light of the world who is Christ himself. So come out and celebrate with us if you can. If you have a local church that you attend, enjoy the fellowship and enjoy the celebration of Easter Sunday morning because our Savior is not in a grave. He is alive forevermore. Amen. Amen. Let's close with a prayer. Father, we thank you so much. And thank you so much for the cast and the crew, the band, everyone involved with this performance, those that are seen here, those that are not seen behind the scenes. So grateful for all of their efforts. Bless us, Lord, as we leave here tonight. Thank you for those that have accepted you tonight. Thank you for the choice that they've made to trust Christ. Their names are now written in the Lamb's Book of Life forever. And we celebrate with them and we rejoice with them. Thank you in Jesus' name. Get us home safely tonight and give us a great resurrection weekend. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. You're dismissed.